What's up, everybody? We're here at CS 2020 at the Team Viewer booth, and I'm here with Dr. Andy. And they're the two minds here who are going to help us know more about their new product, Team Viewer Pilot, which is an augmented reality system for helping you solve your problems. So, what can you tell me about the product? So, Team Viewer Augmented Reality allows you to solve any problem anywhere. So, imagine you are at home trying to figure out a complex electrical panel, trying to figure out how to fix your NAS device, or you're in a factory where there's a big machine, complicated machine, that has got lots of knobs, and you are a newcomer to, the, to that thing, you want some help. And the expert is in another country, or maybe 5,000 miles away. He doesn't have to come here, you don't have to struggle on the phone. You can turn this on, and you can actually have a full, he can have an experience of it standing right next to you and point with pointers, arrows, curves, everything, what they have to do to fix the problem. A father can help their kid fix their tire, a guy can help his girlfriend turn on the security system, or a factory can help to do things much more productively. Andy here created this product. He's the head of products for this particular group of the group is AR, augmented reality. Go ahead, Andy, what did you do in the new version? New version. So it runs cross-platform on iOS, on Android. You can really connect from any kind of device to, to another one. Um, so few technicians can help themselves, which also. And um, there's a lot of great functionality coming up. Uh, one of them, is, for example, is text recognition. So that imagine your washing machine is broken. Um, the expert in the field can directly scan the serial number and all that stuff. And the other guy can directly uh, order, for there. example, a new uh, spare part like a heater for your washing machine. So there's one cool thing that we're about to do. We're going to add AI to this thing. So people, the, the device can, the software can recognize a device and say, oh, I know what this is. What do you want to do with it? You want to install it or fix it? And then it will run a pre-recorded virtual reality demo to tell them what to do. So it can be packaged with the product. Oh, so, that sounds perfect. So basically we're taking from human to human helping to computers to human helping. That's the future. And it's, we call it democratization of IoT and AR together. Cool. So you guys said this is cross-platform on phones yes. and everything. Yes. And I see we have some augmented reality glasses. Yes. So it actually works on here too. Yes, yes of course. It's integrated with some main. So it's integrated with Epson, Fusix, and what is this one? Realware. Yeah, Realware. So all this, so imagine if you're in a factory, you're not going to hold the phone while you're doing this because you want both your hands open, right? Yeah, you so now you can just put this on your head and you can actually see what's happening when somebody is telling you what pointers to use. But it's actually on the headset. So they're basically going to be able to draw diagrams, whatever they need, to show you exactly what to do, yes. and you see it right where it is, you yes. look away, it stays in place. Yeah, and they can send you images and pictures and, and actual text, saying that this is the next step, like that. This just yeah. sounds amazing. And it's super, super easy and super cheap. It's like $16 a month for a user to use this product. That's outstanding. So we're really bringing it to the masses, AR for the masses, not just for video games and Big helmet. It's something that could actually be useful. It is super useful. It's being used today already. And how long have you guys been working on developing this? He can give you more details about that. Yes, so we launched the product um, a bit over a year ago, and a bit over another year ago, we started developing. Uh, however, we had this idea already a long time ago and saw demand in the market for this. Um, and now, finally, it's there and everyone can use it. Sounds great, we're glad it's here. I can't wait to try it out in my own use case because I use TeamViewer a lot and this will make things a lot easier. I see you guys have actual demos set up. That's a, that's a game. We, we created a game to get people an idea of how difficult the problem they can solve. So you guys are going to play the game very soon. I think you are next. Wonderful. Right now. You're ready to go. I don't know what's going on here, so this will really be a challenge or maybe it'll be super easy with the new augmented reality technology. We're gonna find out right now. You guys ready for this? Let's go. Discord. And here we go close to the piece and then hold it steady so she can draw it there with whatever I'm saying like this. The timer will start once you do the first step, which is turning the speed. Yeah, then you look. If you pause it, then it'll stick, and then she, it'll be easy for her to point things. Oh, you can pause it. So once you once you are at some oh, point, like okay. so, let's say this: you're solving this one. 
What are you solving first? Does it matter what order I go in? Yeah, the order will she will define. She will tell you. Yeah. yeah. And then she can draw on it. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Okay, there's a the timer start. Okay, turn the key. Which knobs? I think this one. <laughs> yes. Just pause it and she'll be able to mark on it. Here, um, mark now it you up. can mark on those. Mark it up on the F. You go to the third and fourth one. Okay, don't pause. Because then we can see what's happening, so if it's correct or not. Okay, we got it, we're good. Next step. <laughs> well, that, that was definitely helpful, and now I think I can solve whatever this is <laughs> in the real world. <laughs> 